Hello, this is Bern. And if you ever feel doubtful about the serving, deep, unconditional, amazing love in your life, please stick around because I'll be sharing with you three simple ways to feel more worthy of love on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be that calm. Today's another edition of Get the Love you crave and I'm incredibly passionate about this subject that I'm going to talk to you about today because of every interaction I've had with any woman in the world in, in the sense of helping her to find love the number one most common denominator that I find that prevents awesome women to, from finding love is feeling unworthy of it so what I want to give you right now is this very simple three-step process to step back into the stream of worthiness to step back into the stream of feeling your awesomeness instead of the limitations that are preventing you from getting what you want. The number one step that I'll share with you right now is cultivate butterflies in your life. What the hell does that mean? Cultivating butterflies means that you are consciously stepping into daily activities and actions and ways of being that make you feel butterflies in your stomach. I see so many women who are amazing, intelligent, powerful, but who have flatlined emotionally. And from that space of flatlining, it's very hard to cultivate a feeling of worthiness because the excitement, the passion, the magic is simply gone or has been gone for a while. So a very easy way to step back into feeling that worthiness and that magic that you bring is to do shit that scares you, but is exciting and healthy for you to do things that make you go way outside of your comfort zone, or even just a little bit of your com out of your comfort zone, but that provide that feeling when you go to sleep at night that say, you know what, today was a worthwhile day. I spent myself today. I created some magic. I, I was passionate. I was excited. I was bold. I was courageous. So step into something that allows you to break free from the monotony of your daily life and creates a feeling of butterflies. Number two, practice presence and a key that I'll give you right now to practice presence is to go 10% deeper just 10% deeper in every form of human interaction that you have so here's what I mean by that in the moment that you start feeling unworthy when you start thinking my ass is too big I'm too tall I'm too thin I'm too fat I'm too uh, intimidating I am too intelligent I'm not intelligent enough I am too successful I'm not successful enough all those excuses that are not who you really are they're simply impediments they're simply mental shit that's preventing you from sharing your awesomeness with a man whenever you step into any of those uh-huh go 10% deeper in a conversation because that is just a thought and the thought sometimes is creating some level of intensity that you're not experiencing in your daily life so if you go instead of feeling intensity through go, stepping into a flaw and you go inside uh, and you allow yourself to be seen 10% more or you become 10% more interested and curious about somebody else's life, or you are 10% more expressive or 10% more excited or 10% more generous and kind in your interactions, that excitement, that vibration of aliveness, that force of life will enable you to let go of the shit that was providing you some intensity before and allow you to get intensity in a much healthier way that, by the way, also helps with being here. When you're here, you're not here. <laughs> and when you're not here, you're not thinking about your flaws. Third one is break the story as it's happening by feeling into your strengths. So again, when you start focusing on something that you're lacking, in that moment, once you become present with the people around you, but this can even happen when you're all on your own, when you go into a story of something that you're lacking, something that makes you unworthy of love, something that makes you less than, I want you to simultaneously focus on something that's a true strength. So if you woke up that morning and your tummy feels too big, focus on the beauty of your legs. If you feel that your cheeks are not the perfect color, then focus on the color of your eyes. <laughs> I want you to focus on something that you know to be a strength and not just think about it because that doesn't do anything for your nervous system. I want you to feel into it. And I want you to replace that feeling of unworthiness with a feeling of strength. You do this enough times with enough intensity, guess what happens? Next time you want to go into a story, a story about why you can't get what you want, you all of a sudden start connecting back to every strength that you have, the beauty of your curves, the awesomeness and the fire in your eyes, the strength of your heart, all of it. And with that level of consciousness and connection, you break free from the past. 
Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop-up that allows you to sign up to a webinar I'm hosting that will share with you a blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and absolutely free. Thank you so much for connecting with me and I challenge you as always to live a full and a conscious life.